In our previous video, you watched the Kango Caves near Otsuwa, South Africa. Today, we're showing you other things you can do in and around the Otsuwa area. Even movement can scare the meat out of it. This one behind you. We are going through the longest tunnels in Africa. Hello guys, good morning. We're off to see some meerkats. Woo! We woke up 4.45ish this morning to go see them. And the reason for that is because we need to be there very early. We're gonna go see the meerkats wake up, yawn, stretch. We are going to meet with Davy Glenister, founder of Five Shy Meerkats and researcher in the meerkat field. This is how it's done in the bush. Guys go that way, girls go that way. Because meerkats are always moving from place to place, the people conducting the tour need to watch where the meerkats go to sleep every night. This way they know which burrow to take us to the next morning, so we can watch the cute little creatures wake up. We are going to see the meerkats and we'll have to be extremely quiet because any noises from our jackets or any other noise apart from our conversation, even movement can scare the meerkats away. When he started working with meerkats, he had to get them used to him. So it took him two years until the meerkats were used to him enough so that he could bring visitors like us for the tour like today. Right now we're walking towards the burrow they were seen last night. They don't always show up, so we need to be open for that possibility. After about an hour's wait, the first meerkat finally came up. The first meerkat to show up is a female. She's clearly not scared of us. If she was, she wouldn't have her back towards us. Little by little, the other family members come to introduce themselves. Two little ones, only a few months old. This female standing up, she's the sentinel. It's her job to keep an eye on any predator and warn the whole family of potential hazards. You probably watched long, dramatized documentaries on meerkat families and their heartbreaking losses every time a predator shows up and kills one of them. Well, sorry to say, but they lied to you. Meerkats have no sentimental memory. They know their family members based on smell, even if one of the babies wanders away, when this baby comes back, if it does not smell like its group any longer, it will certainly get killed by its own clan. Meerkats are omnivores. They eat almost anything, including small reptiles and even scorpions. They are immune to the poison of scorpions. And speaking of poison, meerkats are extremely deadly to humans. They don't suffer from rabies, but can carry the virus. It only takes one bite from an infected meerkat to end the life of a grown adult. Davy told us about a friend of his, who also worked with meerkats, that had passed away a few days before this filming due to the meerkat attack. So Steve, what are you thinking of this experience? So they just basically sit there for about an hour or two until it's time for them to look for breakfast. In TV you will see a lot of action, but here where we just see them sitting and once they're gone, we go as well. The meerkats are off for their breakfast. 
and so are we. The tour has ended. It was really cute seeing them. I'm really glad we made it. You can see some of the barrels here. They have at least 10 different barrels that they move every single day. And this morning they were here. This one behind you. Ah, oh, look. Oh. I never thought I would see a meerkat in my life, like real life. I grew up watching meerkats when I was a kid and I loved it so much. And now finally I got to see them and it was like so unreal. I couldn't believe my eyes. So I guess we off now to get our breakfast back to the hotel. And I'm sure we are gonna have a very good breakfast because their food is delicious. And I can't wait. <laughs> It's already about 8.01, the mongoose are out hunting, hidden away, and we're off for our next stop. I think we're going to get some food as well. Scorpions, bugs, <laughs> snakes, all of that good meerkat stuff. So what do we have here? We've got some coffee. We have some fruits, some pastry. Oh, pastries. Oranges. There we go. So this is one of the owners. Would you like to introduce yourself? No. no. <laughs> I want to take your order for breakfast. <laughs> this is one of Stephen's favorite. What is this, Stephen? That is homemade jam. So this is rooibos tea. And what is rooibos? Rooibos tea is a famous South African tea. Rooibos, red bush tea. And if you look at it, the color is very red. It's, it's a lot healthier than black tea. It's got a lot of healthy stuff in. Also rich in vitamin C, right? It's I think really so, vitamin. potentially. We are at an ostrich farm and we are eating milli pops and tomato relish. So this was 30 rand for each one of these, which isn't bad. It's probably about $2 US roughly. So this is a famous South African meal. The Africans eat milli pop a lot with relish. So relish is like a tomato type paste with onions in generally. But this is a new type of thing. This is a different type of thing from milli pop. It's called cromel pop. For those of you wondering, milli is corn. It has a very crumbly texture. There you go. The tomato relish is quite sweet. The milli pop is a bit savory. The combination really works well. And the milli pop doesn't resemble corn at all, the taste. I don't even know what to compare it to. It just tastes nice. It's an interesting new texture to me. Now, usually you eat this and vos. Vos is like a long sausage. And here you can buy ostrich sausage as well. Pretty good. Quite it's sweet. nice, eh? This ostrich farm also has a store and I want to have a look inside because they have a lot of ostrich product.
Okay, now we're talking Africa. Africans are very artistic. Look at these ostrich eggs here. They are not hand painted, but they are very nicely decorated. They really resemble Africa in each one of the pictures. Ostriches are big things here in Old Town. So if you ever come to Old Town, make sure to visit an ostrich farm. You can go on the tour and see them. It's really cool. You can pet them. You can also feed them if you want. I think these ones are hand painted. Now these ones are really pretty. They have lights inside and I wouldn't mind having one of these beside my bed. <laughs> This one, would you like an egg bowl? I'm not wow. talking about scrambled egg bowl or fried egg bowl. I'm talking about ostrich egg bowl. This is actually a bowl. Isn't this cool? Amazing. Steve, did you know something? What? Ostrich eggs are extremely strong, so much so that they can take the weight of a grown adult on, on top of them without breaking. Wow, the egg won't break. No. Amazing. Steve and I think our car needs a wash. Badly, badly. And I can prove it. Someone wrote their names here. Wanja and Andre. I wonder who they were. When you are on the road like for about a week, you don't really have the time to wash your car. Oh wow, look at these ostriches. Wow, aren't they big? You're oh at an goodness. ostrich farm, Naz? I am. They can run really fast. I, I will not tell you how fast they can run because I will probably be wrong, I but they run very fast. I think it's something like 120 kilometers an hour. I think. Wow, really? I'm not sure. Now, if you come to Altshorn, Altshorn, Stephen, help. Okay. Oldhorn, you have to visit an ostrich farm because Oldhorn is famous for its ostriches. You can come and pet them and feed them. Just one thing, if you do, don't ever wear anything shiny because these things will go for shiny stuff. Be it rings, earrings, uh, <laughs> necklaces. They like these things and it can be a bit dangerous. I knew a guy, hi, I knew a guy when I was a kid that didn't have one or two of his fingers. I think he was wearing a, a ring and the ostrich came for it and his fingers. If they eat anything that they are not supposed to eat like shiny metals and stuff, it will stay in their body f like forever so it's not good for them. One of the things that I found out about Old Swan that it was really interesting to me is that this is the town of a famous evangelist called Robert Tum. He wrote the book The New Wine is Better. That's the English version. That's yeah. the English version and I really love this book. When I heard that, that he was born here I was like no way! This is way too cool! <laughs> We're just driving through a little town called Ladysmith. Ladysmith. This is a tiny little town in kind of the middle of nowhere. Some cute little houses, a big church, a couple of gas stations. Maybe more. <laughs> but <laughs> Maybe more. Some restaurants. There was a restaurant that was vegan, organic and free range. I don't know quite how you get vegan, fully and free range together. Maybe the vegetables run wild. <laughs> Bad joke. Both options. <laughs> A lot of feathers flocking together. <laughs> it stinks. It yeah. stinks. Oh my goodness, is this poo? It seems like so poo see. and... Is this poo? Uh, it seems like poo and uh, sticks and stuff. I have, I have an impression that if we stand here, we'll be pooed on. It's very cute. Yeah, it's cute. 
And it's a cute town. It is. We spent the night in this town and it's called Montagu. It's one of the safest towns in South Africa. And unfortunately, we won't have enough time to go around and do things around here. But we really want to come back because it's such a small little town. It's very cute with a lot of historical buildings. And we happened to see this tree with a lot of birds on as we were driving. And we decided to stop by and have a look. And it's impressive. There are some nests there and they are huge. I don't know the name of the birds, but I will leave on the only screen well, after if you we know find out. the name out. of the birds, let us know. I think yes. they might be... I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> no! <laughs> she got through that! Oh, no! No! <laughs> no, my head! What about my head? Look at this. What's going on? Look at that dead one. There's one or two dead ones. Oh. Oh, gross. Oh, uh, so they just die and stay here. That is weird. I don't think the other one is one, is it? Or, yeah. I think the reason why there are so many birds here is because there is a pond here and they like water. If you want a free shower, just come stand underneath here. It's probably nutritious. That explains their name. It's Ibis, at least the big ones with long beaks. There's a gallery here called the Ibis Gallery, which we will not have time to explore, but see you next time. Well, I was wondering what we'd see in a town like this and thought maybe it's a cute little town, but it is a cute little town, but wow, there's amazing mountains around, the birds, the, it's a really pretty town and we should really try and make it back here sometime and explore more. going through one of the longest tunnels in Africa again. Let's see how long it takes us to get through this time, huh? It's 12.26 now. Almost four minutes, almost four minutes crossing the tunnel at 60 kilometers per hour. Roughly 60. So that's wow. a very long tunnel. 